Let's check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. A story in this morning's Republican American community members in Kent are stepping up to assist the Coolbeth family who lost their home to a fire on Sunday. A GoFundMe page has been set up by Michelle Mott, who is the Kent Center School principal and a friend of the family. So far, donations have reached over $7,000. The web address is GoFundMe.com slash support the Cool Beth family. In addition, gift cards are being collected in the Kent Center School office to assist family. Donors are being asked to obtain gift cards from Davis IGA, Big Y, Stop and Shop, Walmart, Amazon, Kohl's, or Visa. All four of the family's children attend Kent Consolidated School, and the youngest, Emery, is currently in eighth grade at the school. The family was out of town on Sunday. They returned late in the afternoon to find their house on fire. Fire Marshal Stan McMillan Jr. said that the fire ignited in the basement. The folks group at the Lee H. Kellogg School bringing back their Scholastic Spring Book Fair. The hours are from 8 a.m. till 4 p.m., Wednesday and Thursday from 8 a.m. till 7 p.m., and April 5th from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. The spring trail cleanup continues, this time in Sharon at the Mary Moore Preserve, parking at 16 Williams Road. Once again, more information at 860-364-5137. And coming up on Wednesday, another trail cleanup in Sharon from 9 till noon, this time the Hamlin Preserve, parking at 14 Stonehouse Road. More information at 860-364-5137. Dutchess County Executive Mark Molinaro will be at the Pine Plains Community Center for a town forum on Wednesday at 6 p.m. The community center is located on South Main Street. The public is invited to attend. On Wednesday in North Canaan, Food Truck Ordinance Committee has a meeting that is set for 7 p.m. at North Canaan Town Hall. Coming up on Thursday, another cleanup, 9 until noon, in Sharon Spring Trail Cleanup at the Sharon Mountain Preserve, parking at 189 East Street. Once again, more information at 860-364-5137. Regional School District No. 1 Board of Education will conduct a public hearing regarding the proposed 2019-2020 regional budget in the library at Housatonic Valley Regional High School at 7 p.m. on Thursday. The public is invited to attend and receive copies of the proposed budget. Immediately following that public hearing that begins at 7 p.m., the Housatonic Valley Regional High School Board of Education will hold a discussion and establish a budget referendum for May 7th and then adjourn. Noble Horizons Auxiliary holding its semi-annual book and tag sale. That happens Friday the 5th and Saturday the 6th in the Learning Center at Noble Horizons from 9 till 2. Admission is free on both days, but on Friday, early birds pay $10 from 8 till 9 a.m. All donations are greatly accepted. Any unwanted, no longer used items, no clothing or electronics you can bring to the front desk at Noble Horizons. The Amenia Recreation Department with the Amenia Free Library is sponsoring its annual Easter egg hunt on Saturday, 10 till noon, at the Town Hall. Outdoors for ages 7 and up. A beanbag toss and egg hunt for ages 1 through 6 will be on the second floor. The Easter Bunny will visit the auditorium. The event is free and open to the community. The Stanford Grange hosting a spring penny social on Saturday at the Grange Hall. Doors open at 5.30. Calling begins at 7 p.m. Friends of Millbrook Library sponsoring their first mini-golf event on Friday, April 5th from 6 until 9 p.m., adults only, and Saturday, April 6th from 10 until 4 for families and children. For details, email friends at millbrooklibrary.org. A Bunko fundraiser sponsored by the Sharon Fire Department Ladies Auxiliary happening on Friday at the Sharon Firehouse. Doors open at 6.30. Playing starts at 7. $20, half towards prices, half towards the auxiliary fundraiser. Reservations are not required. Dover High School presents Concert for a Cause, April 5th at 7 p.m. at the Dover High School Auditorium. Tickets, $5 for students, $7 for adults. All donations are welcome. All proceeds will be donated to... Chiara Cardiello's recovery. Cornell Quantum Extension in Columbia and Green County's spring program schedule. Spring Gardening Day happening on Saturday, 8.30 until 2.30 at Columbia Green Community College in Hudson, New York. 
Registration and more information at 518-828-3346, extension 209. Celebrate opening day April 6th at Lime Rock Park, a free day at the park to watch the clubs on track and be a part of the action with Charity Laps, Lime Rock Drivers Club from 9 to 1, Eastern Motor Racing Association 1 till 6, and Pelham Motorsports Club and Autocross 1 till 5. A paddock concession stand will be open for lunch. You can make a donation to the Michael J. Fox Foundation via Team Lime Rock Park. Participants in the charity exhibition laps from 11 to noon and parade laps from 1 to 1.20. The Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research has teamed up with Team Lime Rock Park. Moving along, Brookshire Botanical Garden in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, presents Nature of Narratives, Botanical Art of Carol Ann Morley. It runs Saturday through May 26, weekdays 9 to 4, Saturdays 11 until 3. Meanwhile, the Berkshire Botanical Garden presents spring pruning of woody ornamental plants that on Saturday, 10 till 2. More information is available at berkshirebotanical.org. DM Hunt Library will host Canaan author and musician Angela Paul Ramuni with a book signing and accordion mini concert April 6 at 1 p.m. at 63 Main Street. The former tax accountant and now accordion museum owner will talk and take questions about his illustrated book, Accordion Stories from the Heart. It's free and open to the public. Cornell Cooperative Extension Master Gardener Volunteer Chris Ferrero presents Hydrania Success for Northeast Gardens. The lecture takes place Saturday at 1 p.m. at the Pine Plains Community Center. It's sponsored by the Pine Plains Garden Club. The Anglet Theatre Company and Dewey Hall presents Marjorie Prime, two shows on April 6th. There's a matinee with the doors open at 1.30 and an evening show with the doors open at 7. Now the show begins at 2 and 7.30. There's preceded by complimentary beverages and refreshments and afterwards a talk about what was just seen on the stage. Tickets and more information at 860-435-6928. Tickets also available at the door. The Hunt Concert with Kowski Piano Duo Fabio and Giselle Wachowski is happening on Saturday at 7 p.m. It's free and open to the public at the Hotchkiss School, Interlaken Road. More information, hotchkiss.org slash arts. American Legion Post 178 will host its last of the season monthly pancake breakfast on Sunday, 7 to 11 at the post located on Route 44. Pancakes, French toast, syrup, sausage, bacon, eggs, home fries, toast, coffee, hot chocolate, and tea. Eat in or take out. Proceeds go to support multiple Legion projects and initiatives, including the Children's Activities and the Post Wounded Warrior Fund, which assists local veterans in need. The fourth annual Tri-State Mini Maker Fair will be held at the Hotchka School on Sunday, 10 until 3, inside and outside the Griswold Whitney Science Building. The fair is accessible and open to all ages and abilities. More information at tinyurl.com slash y9gybxhb. This year's Spring Splash will be on Sunday, April 7th at the Town Grove in Lakeville, benefiting the Jane Lloyd Fund at Housatonic Valley Regional High School, FFA John Rice Scholarship Fund. The event is a sight to see. You should join the Splash. They love more jumpers. For fundraising information and waiver, go to fundraisers under the events at the website, thejanelloydfund.org. Registration begins at 12 p.m. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlake and interlakeandin.com and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 329.74 yesterday to 26,258.42. The Nasdaq starts off today at 7828.91 and the S&P 500 at 2867.19. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That will come your way in just a few moments.